Hello and welcome back guys. So let's finish up with our uh, theme here. Now a couple of problems here. Uh, the first one being if I click on sample page here, you will see that um, it shows something that resembles uh, one of these instead of an actual page, uh, something like this. Now, if there was an, a featured image for the sample page, it would actually show it there. Now, this sample page is a new page which you create from the admin section. So when you create a new page, this is how things will look like. Now, this is hardly a page that can display enough information if we want to, because it's being represented uh, by a post. So WordPress will, t will treat everything as a post. That's how it is. A page is a post. A category is like a, a post type and um, posts are posts as well. So everything literally is a post in here. Now there's a way we can check to see if it's an actual post or it's a page and then we display it differently. So here what I will do is we have post.php which displays one post right here. We can change this to display a page. So I can just copy this content and inside template parts here, I will create a new file and paste that here like this. I will name this one as page instead. So say page.php like so. Okay, so now what I can do is I can remove the style that maximizes, that limits the view there. So save that. And then if I now go to my index.php, here where it says if is home, and then we show the slider, we can have a very similar thing here where we check to see if this is a page or it's a normal post and then we show the appropriate thing. So if I paste here, let me move this inward a little bit. So instead of is home, we can check is page like so. If is page, then let's use post uh, page here, sorry, that template part. And then we will do an else statement. And let me move this inward like this. And then else we show a post okay so i will refresh this and as you can see now it's showing that um this is in full view here let me go back home you will see that the posts remain as they are but when i go to the page it looks something like this now i can customize this a little bit better uh let's see here Let's remove shadow and border for now, like this, okay. And then secondly, instead of the except here, I just want to get the content, right? So I'm just going to say uh, the content right here. Let's say the content. Now I don't need to echo this. So it's just the underscore content and there's no need for an echo. We just put PHP tags like so. And if I now refresh, this is what we see. This looks more like a page. We have a title there. Let me come back here and uh, let's see, where is the title? Uh, the title is here, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me lower this to make it slightly bigger and then the content uh, we don't need the paneling here because there's nothing to read more we just have a title and a page let's see here there's nothing to read more so there we go okay so and then we may want to remove the border for the card so let me just remove the card like this Okay, that removes the line. And then maybe we don't want text center at all. Maybe we want the text to just be uh, whatever was designed in the admin section. So now you see we are displaying a page 
like this. So if I click here, we see that is a page. Here we still get our posts as normal. And when we create a new page, we can see the content. So usually the content on these sample pages or the pages that you create, uh, maybe a page like about us. So you have about us and then you write your content there as if you're creating a post in the admin section. So you can add several pages, contact us, about us, and then you put your content there. So this is how the page will look like once you do that. Now, this is one way to do it. The other way to do it is to simply, uh, let's go back to our index page here and let's remove this, um, this part we added here. So I'm just going to undo all this like this. And then if I just put page.php in the original folder here, it's going to automatically read that as the, the source material. Yes, I should say. Yeah. So what will happen is, let me get this page.php and remove it from here. So let me just open the containing folder. That way I can move it. I don't know how to move things using... Uh, sublime text directly. So I'll just put page.php there, right? So if I now refresh here, you see that uh, page.php still works. See, it went directly there. So if we go back to the index page, now oh, this one is no longer existent. So close that, make sure you close that. Uh, it's not reading this page anymore. Now, Every time you load a page, it goes directly to page.php. Now, as you can see in here, we don't have a header or a footer. This is why we've lost all our styling here. If you notice, we don't even have a header. So what we can do is just copy whatever is inside the index page up to this point. So copy that, add that to page.php as well, like this. And then let's go back. Let's add the footer as well. We don't need no pagination in this case because this is just one single page content. And let's save this. Let's come back here and refresh. And now you see it looks more like a normal page with our header and our footer as well. So let's go to the index page, sample page. Okay, so those are the two ways to display normal pages, which uh, usually are static pages like about us and contact us. Now there's nothing stopping you from uh, putting posts, loading posts here. We will see how to do that in when we start dealing with custom queries. And uh, yeah, so, so far so good. Oh, I actually don't need this because it will never be a home page. So I'm just going to remove this. We will need our nav bar, that's okay. The header and the footer. That slider will never be required because the page will never be the home page. So it will never show up anyway. So we've removed that and that is good. Okay, good. Hopefully you've learned something there and let's continue in the next video.